All right, some bunch of you asked for a video of me making cigars, so I'm going to kind of walk you through the process real quickly. Um, I'm not an expert, so this is not a tutorial on how to roll cigars. If you want to know how to roll cigars, there's a million videos on YouTube and other ways that you can learn because I'm not very good. I'm good enough to make the cigars that I, I don't mind smoking, and all of mine I've ever made I could smoke. Here's some I've made so far this morning. Uh, or have wrapped so far this morning and I want to show you all three steps of the process these are some that I bound yesterday uh, and bundled yesterday and and put the binders on it and had them in the press and these are some that I've made this morning so you can kind of see the three different steps we use three different types of tobacco there's the binding excuse me the filler and then the binding and then the wrapper and there are different types of tobacco and they have different purposes so I'll go through all that with you. The first thing we're going to do is make a, a bundle of uh, filler and so um, I'll get a leaf here. These are, you'll notice they're bigger. These are, uh, this is really good tobacco. Um, it's been, it's about 10 years old and we've had it in the root cellar over a year at 70 percent humidity. The uh, binder, excuse me, the filler tobacco is kind of the roughest it's got the biggest veins it's the biggest leaf it's the thickest and the darkest and it's kind of provides most of the taste and so uh, a professional would have a um, or a company would have somebody whose job it was to blend the cigars and they would pick all the fillers in the right amounts to produce that particular cigar the first thing we're going to do here is get rid of this big vein that's in the middle of this leaf and I don't worry about there being holes or anything in this because this is just the filler. And so what I do is I uh, start off just by splitting it. You'll see people online, if you watch them, that can do this really fast uh, and get rid of this vein. I don't do it that fast and I destroy the leaf if I try to do it too fast. So basically I'm just producing um, some filler for my bundle from this big leaf. And so this is half of a leaf now. And uh, what I want to do is I kind of want to keep my, the veins of this tobacco running always the same way as the veins of my, uh, excuse me, the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Grains. The grains of my uh, cutting board here. You see these big veins like this? This is why this is filler. You wouldn't want, this came from the bottom of the leaf. It's the biggest, fullest, most flavorful part. And so we're going to kind of uh, just get the veins going the right way. We want full leaf, so, uh, excuse me, we want it to go the full length. We want long filler. So I just kind of stack it, keeping, and if I have some stuff here from a cigar I've already cut, that's good um, wrapper, that's the right length. And that's a good tobacco. I'll add some of that in there so it doesn't get wasted. And uh, then I'll take the other half of this leaf, start again with this vein. I want to get this vein out, off of here because you don't want that in your cigar. It'll ruin it. So I'm taking this big center vein off. This is the part that really kind of takes the longest and like I said, this is really good. There's a difference between, when you talk about quality, between good quality that, as far as smokability and good quality as far as how it looks, appearance. This is not going to be great looking because I'm not good and this tobacco is not top uh, appearance tobacco, but it is good quality. And so uh, and what I'll do is kind of test it, test roll it just to see if what my size is to make sure that I'm kind of keeping it even and so I'm going to add just a few more little pieces here give it a little bit more fullness alright alright so that's going to be my bundle my filler. Now I'm going to go to the binder, which is a different type of tobacco, taken from a different part of the leaf, and <clears throat> it's going to be a little better quality, a little smaller veins, 
I'll pull out a leaf here, see if I can find a good piece. This one's not bad. It's got some holes in it. It's not too bad. Let me see. You'll see the leaf is a little smaller. It's got all of this. And if, it, if it's not good for a binder, I'll just use it for filler. All right, we'll use this. I want to keep my container closed because I want to keep the moisture in there. And the same thing, I'm going to go down and remove this center stem as carefully as possible. Now I've got a uh, piece of leaf here I can use. This is not perfect because it's got a big rip here, where right about where my cigar is going to be finishing. Again, I want to get the veins going the same way as the uh, grain of my wood, and that helps me keep everything in perspective. But I'm not going to worry about that hole much because we're going to put a nice wrapper on it, and the wrapper is going to make sure that all looks good. All right. And you can wet this down a little bit if it's just a little dry. I try not to use too much water. It takes a while for the cigars to dry. And I'll kind of pre-roll this uh, binder. Get it about the right size. Kind of feel which side I want to be on which and start it up here. Now you're going to kind of try to bind it a little tight. Not too tight, but you want to... Uh, kind of be complete you got to use almost all of your fingers at once and uh, kind of work your way down so you don't end up with one fat end and one small end which happens sometimes and then once you get towards the end I just roll it out I use my hands to kind of even out the tobacco and then this goes into the press and when I'm done, I have eight of these, then I will close down the press, and this will sit in the press probably overnight. It doesn't have to be overnight, but I usually do that. All right, so these are some I did yesterday. I've cut off the ends, and I'm going to do a, uh, <coughs> a wrapper so you got to see the whole process. Hopefully I don't mess it up. So this is my wrapper. This is the third kind of tobacco, and it's... Um, a lot thinner, very papery. The veins are smaller. And uh, I'm going to kind of look at it. I, do, I really don't want any really big holes that are in places where I'm, that are important. But I think I can make a good one out of this. This is very papery thin, so you have to be careful with it. But again, I'm going to take out the center spine. And I'm careful with it. I know there's People, they get really good at this part, but I'm not. All right. This is usually, this is Ecuadorian, I think. It's usually shade grown. Um, not always. This has a few holes in it, so we're going to work it where we don't really use those parts. Again, we're going to put our grain the same or our veins the same way as the grain as much as possible and this time I'm going to take a little time and uh, try to get all the wrinkles out as much as possible I use a pizza cutter because I don't have a nice chivetta but I use that glue sometimes too this time I'm going to put an edge on it that's really straight because I want to uh, that's the edge that's actually going to be seen. So that can go to another cigar there. And as uh, much as possible, I'm going to try to keep this straight edge here because this, this is not perfect. And try not to cut your finger. But it's going to be good enough for me. All right. So now I'm going to take, and this has got a bit of an ugly edge up here. <coughs> now I'm going to take one of my bundles from yesterday that I've already pressed. 
how to feel it and find out which end I want to be the mouth end. And uh, that end's going to go down here toward me. Excuse me. It's the other way around. I almost made a mistake. You want the mouth end to go on this end. All right. So I'll start up here. Now we've got to be really careful we don't tear it because it's very, very thin. And you kind of have to use all your fingers to make sure you're getting it tight. You're getting rid of the uh, wrinkles as much as possible. You smooth it. And it's really just feel as much as possible. I'm not trying to make them perfect and they're not going to be perfect because I don't do this enough. I do this about once a year, maybe twice. But I smooth it as I go as I work my way down to the end. Kind of working my way. When I get down here towards the end. I'm going to take some of this, this is pectin, you can use vegetable glue or I've used egg whites before but I find this pectin works really well. When I get towards the end, then I'm going to just roll it out. Now I'm going to use my hands and kind of even it out. It's still a little moist so I can work out the... Uh, and on this one, I really didn't leave myself enough area to twist the end. So this one will just be a open end one. I just don't know enough. I could probably do a cap on this. But uh, normally I would leave enough. I might be able to do it here where I can get a twisty end. And I'll twist it until it folds over. not going to be perfect but I'm going to cut that end off when I smoke it anyway all right now I'll kind of measure the box to see how much I need to cut off and I just do this by feel put your uh, cigar in your cutter and I don't have a nice cutter cut off the end do a little bit more smoothing This is not a real pretty one, but it'll get better. I'll take them out a couple of times a day before they go into the root cellar and roll them a little bit in my hands. But there you go. Cigars so far from this morning. Some more to be made. That's it. Thank you.